So some of the things we'll be talking about in this video is how Pinterest can amp up your website views or even your YouTube views and how Pinterest can send people to your products daily and directly. Also in this video, we'll be talking about how Pinterest can build your business on autopilot. Let's get started. One thing I can tell you that Pinterest has done for me, I have a blog called Guns, Buns, and Abs, Low Carb Life. I was struggling to get any views on it. I would post on Facebook. I tried the Instagram. I am just not it. I love Instagram. I love going through the feed, but I am not good with doing the Instagram lives, Instagram stories even posting daily to keep the algorithm going. It's just way too much. I work full time, also have this blog, my uh, Guns, Buns and Abs blog, and then I have uh, my website company where I build web design and develop websites on WordPress. And I am a pin Pinterest manager for a couple clients right now. But when I started uh, using Pinterest, I, I was amazed actually on how how much traffic it drove to my site. It is actually the top driver of traffic to my site. It's helped that website out even after not doing anything on my blog for six months. I haven't even really um, uploaded new pins to Pinterest in the last six months, but I am consistently bringing in income from the posts that I have already up on my blog and the pins that direct people over to my blog. And that just, totally amazes me that even without doing anything through this whole quarantine on that blog and working more so on my website um, design and development company and homeschooling my boys, it's still getting income. I mean, it's not a huge substantial income, something that I can live on at this time, but without doing anything, Pinterest is sending over customers for me. They are sending them over to my blog and mm, those customers click on my affiliate link and buy the products that I recommend. Products that I do use. I don't ever promote anything that I don't use. Like right now, um, I'm using the Speed Keto, which is my biggest affiliate thing I work with. It's an amazing uh, keto meal plan. Um, it's a one-time purchase. It's not something that you have to pay for every month. And I've lost 40 pounds with it. Now I'm trying to lose the same 40 pounds that I gained during the three months of keto because I fell off the wagon. Um, you can also check that video out. Um, I'll have it in the links regarding my keto journey and um, restarting my keto journey just because I was not in the mindset and the mind space to continue with keto when the whole quarantine crap started basically. But I just want you to know that Pinterest is a search engine. It's just like Google. You go in there, you type at the top of the thing what you're looking for and that's what people are going in. I mean, they might look at their home feeds, just scroll through them, scroll through them, scroll through them. But Pinterest is a search engine. It is a, a picture search engine. You can see the products right there. Like if you have a online store, you're selling shirts, t-shirts, you're selling um, homemade projects, um, products like things you knit, things that you sew, um, jewelry that you make, any of those, you can showcase them on Pinterest because it is, it's a visual search engine. You type in the top of the bar, I am looking for a gift for my husband husband and tons of different products will show up. You go on there and search, I'm looking for a present for my best friend's birthday. Go on there and they will give you so many toxic topics. You go on there and you search, what is the best keto diet or keto recipes? They show up, they send people to your blog. Any of those things will send people to your store, your blog, your product, whether you're in network marketing, whether you're an author, it works for all niches. It's an amazing platform. You just need to learn a couple things about it. I mean, it's just like Google where you have to put in SEO, you have to do your SEO research, um, your keyword research. There's a couple tools you can use such as Ubersuggest, um, 
and to create your pens you can use canva and to schedule your pens you can use tailwinds i will leave links below for all that this is something i am going to start going in on in depth and it's something that i am going to start practicing once again to build up my websites and I will take you guys on that journey with me. But I can tell you when I started using Pinterest, I grew my followers to 3,000. Um, I have over 2,700 views a month on my guns, buns, and abs. Um, Jenny Schroeder, I don't have that many yet. I haven't really started growing that on there because this um, blog is really actually quite small. I just started it about six months ago because I do design websites and I do Pinterest management for other people. But I decided to start this channel so I could help people grow their businesses in this day and age where everything is going digital because of the crisis that we've been in for the last uh, since March here in the States and even more so in other countries long before us. Our world is becoming more and more digital and our products are becoming more and more digital where people can buy them online, where people can download them online, where people can order your homemade um, items, uh, handmade items online, where you don't have the network marketing parties for like Unique, for Tupperware, for Avon, for Mary Kay, for any of those, you can do it all through Pinterest and YouTube. You just integrate some of the online paths platforms that you you go on daily so that means other people go on them daily you search for things on them daily other people search for them daily so it's not something that is not used so in my next couple videos this is going to be a whole series um i'm going to get you started on pinterest how to set up your business account how to set up rich pens how to create your boards how to use canva how to use tailwind and it's just going to kind of help you out gain traction to your blog gain traction into your store gain traction to your product so that you can be financially stable and build a business that you love so that you're not depending on working in some business that you hate or that is closed down because of COVID or any other pandemic that comes upon us or for any other reason. More of the world is becoming digital. And as you see it, more people are going to start working from home than ever before. So they are looking for your ideas. They are looking for your I, your brand, your products, your whatever. So thank you guys. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification button down there for, uh, so you'll be notified. Like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound, and when I fall, you tied a rope to me.